you and I have had lots of conversations about ESG over the years. And I, last time we talked, I asked you whether ESG was more important or less uh, now in this environment, especially when you have businesses that are going to be genuinely challenged, companies that historically were trying to put either money aside for different efforts. How do you think about that in this context today? Yeah, you know, ESG is not just about divestments, and I think it's been defined that way, you know, a little too often for CalPERS and I think for many other institutional investors. It's a risk framework, and then subsequently an engagement and perhaps portfolio integration. But when you have a 7% return hurdle, we have to be really careful about portfolio integration. So we're long-term investors. So there's nowhere, nowhere to hide. Uh, we're universal owners of, you know, approximately 10,000 public companies. Um, but we watch the environmental side of the portfolio. We're, we're, we're concerned about climate. And even if uh, there's some sensitivity to calling it climate change, let's call it extreme weather patterns, what happens, you know, when those hit our real asset portfolio. So for us, it's a risk framework. We need to understand the risk that our capital is taking on through the long term. And, you know, that is through engagement. Right. That's through disclosure and transparency about data that we can make evaluations of whether those companies are managing their risks appropriately and whether we should be continuing to invest in those companies. But the, the reason I'd ask the question is, you know, and we always use Delta as an example, because right prior to the pandemic, they pledged to spend a billion dollars over 10 years, $100 million a year, uh, effectively buying carbon offsets. In this type of challenged environment, what would you be telling the boards and managements of those companies that are all also trying to think about their employees and the like? Yeah, you know, human capital is certainly, you know, one of the supply chain risks that uh, have been identified through this pandemic. They had disparate uh, impacts to frontline workers. But, you know, right. for me, I would tell Delta, watch the long term. You know, there are short term disruptions. And, you know, certainly you know, maybe those commitments right. have to be set aside uh, to survive, you know, keep the company in survival mode. But we are, again, focused on the long term. How do we get back on track once, you know, we return to some kind of normalcy where these companies are, you know, their balance sheets come back into an improved uh, state. But, this is something that we'll continue to talk with them about. We certainly understand the financial uh, implications of, of this pandemic and as it relates to these companies. And, you know, we'll be patient with them, but we just want to understand that they're thinking about the long term and not just the short term.